Hi, I'm a chip in first class John Hardy Davis. I apologize that I can't be with y'all physically today. I was a lead developer for the augmented reality headset with the animated procedures. Uh, I guess it only seems appropriate to give a virtual presentation for a project that focuses on the virtual environment. Uh, how this works is object, the placement recognition uses fiducial markers and it involves two planes, the object plane, which is reality, what we see with our eyes, and the image plane, which is what the camera sees. The fiduciary algorithm will first convert the object plane into a Cartesian-based image plane where zero, zero is the top left red fiducial marker. And the bottom right is the max max in pixels. The three non-collinear markers are then placed in a known geometry on the drone 25 centimeters apart in a right triangular pattern. The image is then processed every frame and the fiducial markers are discriminated as label one, two, and three. Orientation, depth, and rotation can then be computed from the real world geometry. Overlays are then generated relative to the markers and placed as scaled and rotated images on the screen. Precision in the placement of the fiducials is not necessary as the guidance task is robust to minor precision errors. The fiducial marker system gives flexibility to maintenance, making it easier for future developers to create a new augmented pattern uh, for each different platform or vehicle. Application is easy to use. First, click on the Epson AR button. Start the fiducial marker recognition tab. Then touch the screen to start. As you can see, the text and the overlay are floating above the actual real-time spot. And it is using relative planar geometry to calculate its position based off the three non-collinear fiducial markers. The instructions are easy to follow and the accuracy of the overlay is precise. This will help mechanics understand what to do in a non-intuitive environment.